or 10 to 7. The DNA or Criminal Law Forensic Procedures Amendment Bill. It establishes a national forensic DNA database to detect and investigate crime, exonerate wrongly convicted people, and identify missing persons and unidentified human remains. The bill is expected to be passed by the National Council of Provinces before the end of this year. To give us more information on what the bill means for our country, we're joined in studio by the one and only Pitt Bailefeld. You know him, a forensic analyst, uh, retired but busier than ever. Good yeah, to have yeah. you in studio, Pitt. Oh, thank, thank you very you. much for being our no, guest. Nice to be here, thank you. What, are the, what, are, what really are the benefits of having a DNA database? Well, it's going to be so helpful, especially in my, through my experience in the past, to link at so important you can link the suspect as soon as possible. Yeah. And also to take him down and also prevent further cases, you know, crimes being committed like murder, rape, seeing due to the fact I investigate a lot of serial killing cases and that assisted me a lot. So the database is very important. Yeah. If we had a database on that case case especially what I investigate, I'm sure we could have prevent much more murders. Yeah. and rapes, definitely. Prevent and, and speed up cases. Of course, yeah, and track uh, him down as soon as possible. Yeah. Because one of the guys, it took nearly four years to track him down. Oh, that's crazy. Can you, can you just think how many innocent people that died in that, in that process yeah. that could have been prevented? Yeah. And I was actually, for, as a medical officer, it was really tough for me due to the fact that I couldn't track him down as soon as possible. Yeah. Uh, how will this DNA bill actually go ahead and be implemented? Well, as far as I know, I, I was just, I can't say much, but definitely, I hopefully it will be soon. So I know for a fact it's going to be costing more, costly. Yeah. That's my experience with the DNA testing, and also it's going to cost a lot of money. Yeah, it costs a lot of money, but at the end of the day, I, it, it is worth it. Tell me, it's a person's, it's a human being's life. Yeah. Then mm -hmm. money, we mustn't think about money. We've got to think about a person, innocent yeah. people especially women and children being murdered. What about, you know, the, the, the reality is, is that you get the DNA, but to preserve this DNA, you know, how do you go about doing something like that? Well, firstly, the important thing, the investigating officer, he's got to do his job, fulfill his duty on crime scene thoroughly, and it also is going to be submitted to the forensic science laboratory, all the proceedings are going to be followed, and also that support the victims, even as a, at the end of the day in court, in the court of law. Yeah. That stands in the case, so at the end of the can secure a conviction. Yeah, but we don't really have a good history, unfortunately, at preserving DNA. What do you think is going to change? How are we going to rectify the situation now if we do get a bill in place? Well, definitely, then, more, uh, specifically, much more policemen, policemen's got to be trained in that direction, even in the public, the community, security companies, police forum, and the public must also be known not to temper with any crime scene. So mm -hmm. that crime scene is so important, they mustn't determinated anything on the crime scene itself. Yeah. That should be knowledge already. I mean, this is yeah, what people should know now. Yeah, definitely by now. It's so yeah. important. Also police and visiting officers. Yeah. Do we have this? I mean, because clearly we need a lot more training when it comes to the preservation of DNA um, amongst police officers, investigating yeah. officers. I'm, you know, I'm, I, this is yeah. your industry. You yeah. know it. You know it very well. Do we need more training? Do you feel that, 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 that there is a gap there? Or are we adequately trained? Well, uh, there is some time where I feel is they need some more training, especially on crime scenes, because that's really so important for DNA. That's where DNA is not being collected and also analyzed at the end of the day at forensic. You yeah. have to. Yeah. At the crime scene, that's, my, that, that's why we need some more training. Yeah. So, I mean, something like this, with, with everything we're talking about, I mean, it's, uh, it, it, it's going to take time for this bill to come in place. Yes, no. Because there's training, there's so much back work that needs to be done. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, unfortunately, but I, I, would, I would love to see it submit as soon as possible. Yeah. See, uh, to prevent further crimes, innocent people being murdered. Let's look at internationally. Um, is something like this a given practice that, 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 that you have a, a DNA bill in place in oh, other yes, countries? Oh, yes, automatically. All of them, definitely. I would see they've got it in practice sooner. Well, they've got the DNA data about, I presume, about each and every citizen, basically. Oh. But it's going to cost a lot of money to do it in South Africa at this stage. I'd yeah. love to see it. It's going to take a while, that's for sure, but I'd love to see that in place. Yeah. So, so other countries have this. This is operational around yeah, the world. Yeah, basically, like a fingerprint. We have one thing in mind, the DNA is like a fingerprint. Mm -hmm. And it must be seen in that light as well. Mm -hmm. And also, as evidence, for evidence purposes, 
we'll see in a court of law. Yeah. So if it comes into place, let's 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 get practical now, because a lot yeah. of people are watching and thinking. Yeah. Okay, now that you've set a fingerprint, obviously every time you get an ID or driver's license, you have to put your fingerprint yeah, of there. Course. How is it going to change our lives, me, as a normal, average South mm. African? Is bringing a bill like this going to change my life in any way, or is it only going to change if I commit a crime? Then, obviously, things will change. Definitely, not going to, uh, it won't be uh, actually a fixture of your personal life as now. Okay. Because well, how does a fingerprint of your driver's license affect you? But uh, for, definitely for the criminals, the so-called suspects, they definitely their lives going to be changed because they would be able to apprehend them much more quicker and be brought to book as soon yeah. as possible. Yeah. Well, I hope it does come in very much so. I mean, for what you're explaining, speeding up cases, yeah, yeah. catching criminals a lot yeah. faster, not waiting four years yeah, for a yeah. serial killer to be, to be caught. Yeah, that's why I support this fully, quite frankly. Good. I'd love to see that in place as soon as possible, from yeah. my side. From your side. I, mean, I imagine from many other, many and also, other sides. Of course, yes. Also the public as well. Yeah. When can, are there any sort of mistakes that can be made when identifying somebody through DNA? Well, the mistakes has been made in the past, especially the chain evidence, where, where DNA samples been collected at the crime scene, semen being collected at the crime scene. I've already said one of my cases, I even found some of the samples collected, semen being collected, and one of the investigating officers draw after a year. And he's not been forwarded to forensics. Needless to say, as an investigating officer, I was very upset. Yeah. And I also see that he was transferred back to uniform. Yeah, well, I would imagine oh, so. Oh, no, it was very... Fortunately, luckily, we identified the, 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 the suspect, the accused was positively linked to the, with the crime at the end of the day. Yeah. But that could have been prevented. So there's no, there's no way within... Once the DNA bill is in place, or you have somebody's mm. DNA, you can't be wrongfully accused for a crime. Definitely not. I'm, not at all. As, as, I, as I'm from, bring up sample, for example, like a fingerprint. It's only DNA is like a, like a fingerprint, definitely. Yeah. All right, Pitt Bellefeld, thank you for talking to us. Thank very, you. very interesting topic. Um, talking about a DNA bill that uh, I think all of us would love to see in place very, very fast with our high crime rate and uh, the amount of, of, of crime that we hear on a daily basis, yeah. I think something like this could actually expedite the process of catching these guys. Yeah, definitely, and prevent a lot of victims. Thank, you, for, thank, thank you, you so much for joining us. All right, three minutes before seven here on